ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் பிரசாந்தா வெல்கம் டு பைத்தன் ஆட்டோமிஸ் எல்லிங் சீரீஸ் இன் லாஸ்ட் சீரீஸ் வி அபவுட் சி அபவுட் ஆல் த ஃப்ரேம் ஆஃப் செட்டப்ஸ் ஃபார் பைடெஸ்ட் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ ஹவு டு இன்ஸ்டால் அ கிட் இன் யூர் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் வாட் ஹவு டு டூ த கிட் அப் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் ஸோ பேசிக்கலி வாட் இஸ் அ கிட் மீன்ஸ் கிட் இஸ் அ வர்ஷன் கண்ட்ரோல் டூல் ஸோ தே ஆர் ஓன்லி வி கேன் ஸ்டோர் அவர் க்ளவுட் இன் கோட் அவர் லைக் அவர் பை பைத்தான் கோட் இன் அ க்ளவுட் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் கோ டு த ப்ரௌசர் டைப் ஆன் கிட் டவுன்லோட் இட் வில் டேக் யூர் டு த டவுன்லோட் கிட்டன்ஸ் சப்போஸ் யூஆர் யூசிங் மேக் மீன்ஸ் யூ கேன் யூஸ் த ப்ரூ கமாண்ட் டு இன்ஸ்டால் அ கெட் சப்போஸ் யூஆர் யூசிங் விண்டோஸ் மீன்ஸ் சிம்பிளி யூ கேன் டவுன்லோட் த எதர் இஃப் யூஆர் தேர்ட்டி டூ பிட் சிஸ்டம் மீன்ஸ் டவுன்லோட் திஸ் ஆர் இஃப் யூஆர் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபோர் பிட் மீன்ஸ் கிளிக் ஆன் திஸ் ஒன் ஓகே ஸோ ஒன்ஸ் யூ டவுன்லோட் டவுன்லோட் த ஃபங்க்ஷன் இட்ஸ் லைக் எ சிம்பிள் கிளிக் கிளிக் ஃபங்க்ஷன் யூ டோன்ட் நீட் டூ சேஞ்ச் எனி செட்டப்ஸ் மேக் எ சிம்பிள் ஒன் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் ரைட் நோ பீ நீட் அ கிட் ஹப் அக்கௌண்ட் ஓகே ஸோ கிட் ஹப் இஸ் அ பேசிக்கலி ஏ அக்கௌண்ட் to store your code okay so first of all uh, go to the website uh, type the uh, github.com so uh, it is a github.com uh, it's like it's a main page it comes like this in the page you want to click on the first time users click on sign up button once you click on sign up button you'll ask your gmail id so you don't need to worry keep your simple give your uh, gmail id and uh, giving a gmail id then simply at gmail dot com okay once you click on the id click on the continue button once you click on continue button you want to give a name uh, like a password so the, uh, keep on mind keep a uh, rememberable password don't give us some random things okay because you don't use daily basis so after giving password you want to create a username so most of the people will use the same whatever the mail id is obviously unique for everyone so try to use the same mail id first part okay or any other username and system will show you like this is taken or not okay so once you created that after that see this it's available after click on continue it will ask you you need any uh, notifications uh, i am giving n no and it will start the puzzle so it is a simple question like you can answer uh, uh, anything okay it's like identical right now so whichever are equal so identical means both are uh, similar so i am giving uh, one and it will ask two times once you done this so it will successfully it will create your account and you will get the one email uh, from the github account you want to verify the uh, like in that email okay once you done that you will get a one uh, home screen like this okay so first of all you want to create a uh, there is a uh, already you create account right now you want to create a project in this there is a new button in generally in your uh, account so you want to click on the new button in this new button it will ask you what is your in the which kind of project name you want to store i'm giving hrm python project okay simple and if you want to give a description means you can uh, like give a description after that public and private if you want to uh, uh, select secure means click on private if anyone i can see your uh, thing is a public i'm creating a public project and click on create button once you click on the create button see this this is your overall url the url name is coming from the your username and the project name dot git okay so now after that there are two kind of ways uh, that generally uh, what how the people will teach you in youtube or anywhere is go and write a command go and write a command but today we are not going to write a command git up command because it's a old fashion right now we are going to in, like use this id's uh, advantages okay so you can see this is your the url right so you want to use this url in your project so i'm copying this url if you want to click me it will copy so already we have a project okay this is the overall project our project in the project if you see the first part there is a one no, git link will come so when you click on the link generally we have a, our old project suppose i uh, think like that you are, you are having a project okay you are having a test case i'm copying this test case i am uh, pasting it at as case once again so this is the kind of a tool i am giving okay so generally first of all few things we need to do in our uh, project if you see the left side there is a commit there is a first is project the project is showing and after this as a commit uh, over there so you want to click it so first thing you want to uh, there are i will show you like how the workflow is works on so basically right now you have a your code okay so you see your it's a local code right so in your local code after this local code so there is a your online repo this is your online repo like github repository so you have a github repo 
so you want to pass to the git you want to pass this code in the middle you want to do an action that is the commit action so you want to commit your code to the local after, after that when you after committing you want to push your code to the git so for, we call this this action as a push action you want to push first of all you want to commit then push suppose you want your code from uh, git up to local means what that is we called as that action as a either uh, pull or fetch okay so the push and pull so right now so that only we going to do so right now you have a local code first of all you want to select your which file you want to change so i am selecting all so it will select everything after that it want to commit and push okay so it uh, it ask you commit and push when you click on the commit and push so generally right now we didn't connect our uh, like we know you know right this is a your like online repo github repo so you want to click on the define remote because right as of now we didn't connect your local and cloud so click on the define and you want to pass the url see this this is my url gave to this so right now what will when i click on okay button my local code is make a connection with the my online repo okay i'm clicking on okay see this it's it's a, my entire project is right now fetched okay cool right so before that i give a command this is the command i give for my code like a new code so you we generally we need to give a message commit message you can give like realistic message like this is a new code or which feature you are in committing after that you want to click on and push when i click on the push so right now see this our projects are getting green so what will happen when see this you are pushed to master new branch so when i go to this cloud right now we don't have any code when i refresh this page so what to see this whatever the code the file we have hr helpers pages reports in all are came to the my what this is my, uh, my like it's came to the long, online repo and this is my commit message so when this happen this and all i done one minute ago this is 4 hours ago so whenever this is like a last kind we updated a test case right so which is one minute ago i updated the code so that's why it's showing like one minute ago so this are the, this is how we need to do the push our code from local to the this one okay now you can ask me uh, prashant uh, right now you gave a code how i will take your code so i will give you this i will in description i will give you this uh, my uh, link in the description you can simply click when you click on your browser it will take you to this page in this page when you click on the download here so either you can download a zip or if you want to professionally means so you can copy this url see this you can copy this url see this once you copy the url now open the pycharm okay when you open a pycharm so in your pycharm see this there are new project open and get vss that means you want to click on the get from vss so it's like it's like a github so when you click on uh, get vss it will ask you the url give me the url so you simply give the url see this i am simply pasted your url and click on clone when i click on clone means automatically this project clone into my repo so first of all you want to click on the trust project when say trust it so this project will open na our id that's it you can get get my all the framework codes in your system okay i am closing this see this so how this is how how simple you can get any one code from the git okay so this is the same like a uh, uh, intellij or other ides so from a fight chunk you want to use this same okay after that so right now if you have changes so you uh, you don't have a write access you can only have a read access from my git so if you are having this tomorrow i'm having some changes i'm updating any code in my repo means automatically simply you want to clone it okay so first of all i will teach you how to create a new branch okay so after that you click on the git again see this right now you are in a master okay because you cloned the master you want to create a branch from this master how to do simply select a master from this master click on a new branch from master you want to give a name i am giving like prashant so that's a branch name so see this by all the codes are created by the branch that it's moved to my prashant branch so right now i want to suppose uh, you want to uh, to do, do anything means you can simply do it okay and if you want to know any other features from git when you right click on a project see this you will get a git 
this option in here we can do everything like come uh, like you can commit you can push pull uh, 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 that you want to create new branches you want to stash and stash everything we can do so push and pull you know like fetch is like in interview they will ask you like what is the difference between fetch and pull so basically the pull will get all the codes uh, from the your repo fetch is will get any major changes okay not all the things and merges like you want to understand in uh, our uh, i will teach you in a diagram board okay so basically uh, the, uh, uh, like this is our main master branch okay this is a master okay so right now you are, you are have two team members one is you another one is your your teammate okay this is we name it as uh, b1 branch 1 and this guy is a b2 your another friend okay so you both are working on one branch right now this first guy like right, right now i have a version 1 okay v1 in my code so we all are have v1 version of code right now my friend has updated the code and he pushed his push is the code to him went to the master so right now we done a push code so what has happened so when i push the code so when i pushing this become a v2 okay so it's automatically become a v2 man my friend is also having a what v2 okay so but you are in a still what you are in a still v1 because you didn't do any connection yet if you are right now if you push your code to the uh, git like master branch it will a failure because you are a older guy both are v2 so first thing before going to commit to him like push to him you want to push the masters like pull whatever he done some changes right so he need to first pull the code right now you will become a v2 after that only you have access to push right now what will happen this master will come with with 3 version 3 so the next time your friend going to push that he cannot push first of all what he need to do he need to like pull the command pull he need to pull first then he will become a v3 then only he can able to push so this is the activity we we are doing in a real time projects so this is a basic flow you want to push and pull and basically merge what is a merge suppose you want to add uh, your code right now you have a v3 right now you want to add your all the code to this person means first thing we will create a pull request okay what is that pull request when you create a pull request what will happen you are tl or anyone who was senior so they will review your pull request review means so the, uh, your older code cannot affected by your new code because all the older code was used by the your all the peers so they will do the review okay so they will do a review once review is successful they will merge okay if review is have some conflict your code is not have a very proper manner means they will cancel your pull request you want to do your changes again same process what process daily we will do what uh, we want to commit and push and create a pull request so this is the activity of a one yeah, like a, like a fresh year or a couple of years folks as a senior they will review and much so they this is their work as a tl or a home of senior is doing it so this is the day to day activity of or generally we will uh, don't keep don't allow anyone to directly to go master we will uh, keep a uh, uh, one uh, uh, like a dev branch okay we have a dev branch so uh, we make everyone to push the code to dev so if dev is working fine means then only we will create a full request between a dev to branch then we will push the code to master because master branch we will generally configure with our jenkins like a ci cd so we cannot uh, commit every time to the pull the code to master so we keep a dev middle so all the sub branches will connect with the connection with the dev they will check that dev is working fine or not once once they run a dev is working fine then they will pull the every code to the master
okay so this is so after that every sprint ending what will do every that they will uh, that tier will ask you like uh, everything they pull to the master they will ask everyone uh, now pull the code from master because master is the latest version code so don't do with the old branches go to the master's branch uh, pull the master branch after that you go and work on your stories okay so this so they will do it so if you faced any issues please put me in the comment i will help you over there and if you like the video you can um, like and subscribe to your friends if you want like i give the github url you can just clone it and you can use it in your systems thanks for watching